Hey, Profit First Entrepreneurs, Ed Suzanne Moriga, your favorite fractional CFO, CPA, and tax strategist for the 7 8 Figure Entrepreneur. I am so excited to be joining you guys back again for, yes, number 11, number 11 of common mistakes that entrepreneurs make that sabotage their success, sabotage their profitability, and at the end of the day, doesn't allow them to achieve the things that they want. And we're going to talk about number 11 of stop the super tax. Yes, stop the super tax. And the reason why I called it this is because there are so many things that we do as entrepreneurs that really are so easy to prevent. And if we made these small tweaks in our business, just these teeny weeny tweaks in our business, we really could have some of the major successes that we want to have and achieve with our profitability and our ability to really save for the future and really build secure futures. So I'm excited to be doing this series. And guys, can you believe it? We've already gone through 10 and now we're on 11 and we have one more left next week. So you definitely want to check in that one. But for number 11, today, what I want to talk about in terms of common mistakes that entrepreneurs make, and it really is sad because they come to me and it's often just too late. You know, they just didn't know what they didn't know. And so they did what they thought was right and what they felt was right or what they read on the internet or saw some TikTok advisor tell them. And it really is related to not knowing what you don't know. And what you don't know is costing you dollars and not just dollars, sometimes thousands of dollars. And for some people, if you miss the right opportunity, it can be a seven figure loss for you too. And really, you know, there are ways of really getting to a next level that you wouldn't have access to. And that's through the use of having mentors, people that have been there before, specialists, right? And what they do is they bring a set of knowledge to the table that you might not have on your own, right? You know, like I may be an amazing CPA, I may be an amazing fractional CFO, amazing tax strategist, but there are things that I might have in my blind side, right? And what I've learned is when I hire that professional that has the experience that actually has had results in the past, that can bring me there, right? And in our case, we brought in marketing people, right? Because that's not necessarily my forte. And I was able to absorb their knowledge in a very short period of time and really implement that. And so really it becomes an investment from that standpoint. And, you know, don't be that person, right? Who didn't know what they didn't know. And the thing about compliance is there really aren't second chances. You know, there's this big hoopla about, you know, saying, I'm sorry, I made a mistake. I learned from my mistake. And yes, why I agree, it's important to learn from your mistakes. You know, sometimes when you're dealing with the IRS or you're dealing with courts, you know, saying my bad, I'm sorry, I just didn't know better. That's not good enough, right? You know, if you've hired somebody that's a contractor and they actually should have been an employer, you didn't register with the right bureau, you didn't have the right insurance, or you didn't use the right tax strategy, right? And you classify something as something, and as a result, you lost out on certain credits, right? Because you didn't have somebody talking to you and telling you how to apply different things, right? Then, you know, what you don't know costs you, right? And so really what I'm saying is, you know, in my business personally, you know, there are areas that you can be skimping on, right? Like maybe you can use a generic brand of toner or maybe the generic brand of paper, that type of thing. But when it comes to knowledge, when it comes to bringing in expertise, that's not an area that I have ever skimped on. And that's not an area that I would recommend that you skip in, right? You want to make sure that your blind spots are covered, that you have that expertise in your corner that's going to be able to advise you, hey, if I do this, what happens? What's the next move on the chess piece that happens to me? Or if I want to get here faster, what's the best way in your experience that you see that's working right now? Things that I may not be exposed to. So definitely what you don't know, it can cost you a whole lot of money, thousands, right? And maybe seven figures, you know, if you're dealing with rental or property or real estate or businesses and there's opportunities and qualified opportunities and you don't know about these things, right? And you're missing up that step up in basis. This could be a million dollar deal later on for you. So definitely make sure that you are filling in what you don't know by bringing the right experts to help you get to where you're going. So that was Stop the Stupid Tax number 11. You know, we are having a Profit First Masterclass actually starting today, starting Monday. I don't want you to miss it. Go ahead and click on that link above there to sign up and we will try to get you into the first class. It's a three-day class and we are literally covering the ins and outs of Profit First. You don't want to miss this. You too can have an amazing 2023, no matter what has happened in the first couple months. And it may be a matter of making some small tweaks. And we're going to talk about that in detail in this Profit First Masterclass. So I hope that today was really helpful for you. I look forward to seeing you guys next week on Monday with the last Stop the Super Tax, top 12 things that I see entrepreneurs do. And I look forward to seeing you then. Bye.